What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and something that I and many other people deal with on a daily are PDFs. So it's nice to have an app that's easy to use, does it all, and just makes PDFs so much more enjoyable to use. Alright, so the app I got over here is called PDF Element. It's completely free to download inside the app store. Go ahead and download it right now. Link will be down below in the description, and it just can do so much. Look at the interface, looks absolutely beautiful. You can edit your PDFs and do whatever you want with it. Now, PDF Element is not only available to iOS, but it's also available on your Windows PC, Mac, and also your Android device. I would definitely recommend giving it a try on a computer. So if you're like me and you like to edit your PDFs so you got stuff highlighted, important facts in an article or something that you found interesting, this app can do that and a lot more. So anyways, once you have it, I'm going to go and open it up. PDF editing reimagined text editing and auto font matching. So that's pretty cool. Next page, we have all in one annotator. So we can annotate our notes by highlighting them and adding stamps, all that good stuff. You can just do so much. It's a lot of fun. You can also edit fillable PDF forms. So if you need to put a signature and a PDF and send it back to someone, you could do that on here. And again, there's so much. You guys have to download this app. It's a great productivity app. And it can also have files for file management so you can keep everything organized, Wi-Fi and cloud transfer. I'm telling you guys, this has it all. So they really put a lot of work into this PDF editor. Now we're going to be creating an account with Wondershare and it's very simple. All we need is an email. So you can basically access all the features and be able to do everything that you need to do with the PDF. So I'm going to fill this out real quick. All right, guys. And just like that, we are in. All you do need again is an email and password and you've got your account created. So right off the bat, you got some folders. So you got your downloaded, which is empty right now. You could convert stuff to PDF. And there's also a user guide right there. So you guys could just you check this out and it is in PDF form as well. Now, lastly, before we get into the interesting part about like actually using PDF elements, this is available for all platforms. So it's not just limited to iOS. It works on Android, your PC, your Mac. So go to download it for all your devices and stay connected with PDF element. All right, so let's go and put this app to use. So this is a uh, paper I just found, and I'm gonna be going to put it to a PDF form on my device. So to do this, I plus on the plus icon right there, and over here down over there, you guys can see. Whew, I cannot wait for the new camera to arrive. Okay, anyways, but anyways, just tap on camera, coincidence, and hit I'll go okay to the Lyra camera and photos, of course, because that's where it's gonna put it. And just like this, we're gonna take a photo of it. So. Just put on a flat surface or I'm just gonna do it like this because this is just a rough sketch. So let's just do this. All right, actually, I'm like gonna take the picture. All right, so there it is. Now make sure you got the entire like page and you can see the borders of it and just make sure you have better light than me. Uh, that's kind of ironic since I'm making a video. But anyways, now what you guys wanna do is tap on this crop button right here and right there, you guys will automatically detect it and now just tap on the check mark and there you go so look at that it makes it so much better it can also add effects to make it more readable so let's say this one and wow look at that huge difference so i think that one looks actually better so pretty cool and again if it's like if you take like a different orientation you can switch it around just by hitting that button super easy and let's see what else we got. So we got the trash can. So again, super simple. Let's go ahead and hit save. It will save right there. So I'm going to name it, I don't know, uh, Boogle. Because that's my cat. And this is his uh, document. And boom, there you go. Just like that. Now we have it. It's not going to tap on the PDF. It has a picture and then the actual like PDF save that we have right there. All right, so let's move on. Over here, I have a PDF that's pretty interesting. You guys might want to give it a read. It's Apple's environmental responsibility report, and it's really crazy the extent Apple goes to be environmentally responsible with their packaging, with having their factories all powered through solar panels completely 100%. So it's all renewable energy that they're making their devices out of, basically. And yeah, so you guys want to read through this if you want to. I mean, there's so much information that you guys would have known about Apple. It's really pretty, pretty cool. But anyways, what I'm going to do is tap on this button right here, and I'm going to open in PDF element so it should be right there boom and we're going to copy it over 
And yeah, you guys saw Apple's new uh, structure where the Steve Jobs Theater is, which is pretty cool too. And again, they're being super environmentally friendly. It's like they're leaving a very small footprint compared to other companies. So good job, Apple. But anyways, what we're going to be doing is highlighting some parts of the article. So let's just go and pretend that we're reading it. And I'm going to zoom in right over here. And to edit it, I could tap on this button on the top that pencil icon and it should bring this up right here and this is pretty cool so you could use that button to highlight tap this button to underline and tap this button to strike through so basically cross out anything so anyways i'm going to highlight for example so all i gotta do is tap on that and watch how easy it is just like that watch this boom boom and boom and if i want to underline again I just tap that one so go right here boom boom and if i want to cross something out Again, it's super easy. I go tap right there. Same thing, just like that. And if I'm going to want to go to remove it, I'm going to just go to tap on it, delete, tap on it, delete, tap on it. I can also add a note. So I'm going to tap on note. Let's say I want to just uh, be like, blah, 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 okay, hit done. And uh, so, yeah, if I have any notes about that, I'm going to tap right here, go to note, and you guys can see my note right there about it. So I could be like, oh, Okay, that's why I found that interesting. So I could have a note there on top of my highlight so I could see exactly why I found it interesting. <laughs> this is so easy to use. And on top of that, there's also undo button. So tap on that. You could undo just like that. Undo, undo. But I personally like just going ahead and tapping on it and hitting delete. I can also go ahead and copy the text if I want to. There's also a pencil so I could go ahead and draw on the PDF. So just like that, super easy, pretty cool. So again, it's super easy to get rid of too. So again, just go back to this button or deselect this. Okay, now it's going to tap on this and delete. Simple as that. Now again, you can go ahead and copy the text just by do using one of those features. And again, it brings up the copy feature. So go ahead and tap and hold and I can go ahead and strike through, underline or highlight or copy just like that too. So that's a lot easier in my opinion. So let's go like this and I can just go ahead and tap on highlight. And there you go. That's another easy way to use the feature. So again, you can use the same thing for underlining. So underline all of that, hit underline, just simple as that. Now let's say I need my signature down there. So I can also add a stamp, but I'm gonna show you guys the signature. So just tap on the signature right here and tap over here to create one for the first time. You can just go and use your finger to make one and you can use different colors if you want to. So there you go, that's my signature for example. That's not my actual signature, okay? That's a pretty crappy one. My signature is better, I promise. You can increase or decrease the boldness of it. So I'm going to keep it right there. Perfect. And let's go ahead and hit the check mark. So now I can go ahead and put my signature right smack over there. So, and you can just go ahead and put it wherever you want. Decrease the size and put it down there. Let's actually make it a little bit bigger. So again, that blue dot and. Just like that, I got my signature on there. Pretty easy. So adding signatures has never been easier. Highlighting your PDF, going in and underlining certain parts. It's so much easier with this app. And on top of that, you can tap on this button right here and it selects the different fields as I can see. If I'm going to select it, there you go. So I could go ahead and just tap on it. And let's say I want to change something in there. I could actually do that. Watch this. So I'm going to delete. And look at that, I'm actually deleting part of the PDF and writing whatever I want in there. So yeah, I could hit done. Let's say there was a mistake. So let's say over here you needed some emojis, okay? I could go ahead and do that. Or actually we cannot put emojis in this one. Okay, we can only put actual text. So there you go, let's go ahead and put a happy face. Boom, there you go, I added in my PDF. And that is so, so cool. Now on top of that, if you're just viewing the PDF, you could tap on this button and view all the different pages over here so much quicker than having to go one by one and tap on this button over here to view all the different appendixes. So go and tap on that and there you go. So appendix D, so it brings you right there to it. And yeah, so pretty awesome right there too. Go ahead and tap on the three dots, you could save it, don't save. And I'm not gonna save that because I didn't do anything to it that I really want to do anything with. You could print it, email it, share it, upload it. You guys could basically do everything that you want to do with a PDF with this one app. Now back to our actual files over here, tap on the three dots. And again, you can do so much more. You can copy it, move it, print it, favorite it. So if I go into favorite, I could, I'm going to show you guys what that word that puts it, but you could also rename it, upload it again. And now if I click on the tab on the top left, I can go and tap on favorites 
and boom, there it appears. So this is pretty cool too, and I like having that feature there. All right, but yeah, guys, that basically does it for PDF Element. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Huge things for Wondershare for sponsoring this video. It's actually a really good app, and I would recommend it to you guys if it wasn't. The links where you can download PDF Element for all your different devices will be down below in the description. Some exciting videos coming, so stay tuned. Have a great day, guys. Peace.